Hey everyone, today I'm taking another look at this. It's the OnePlus 5. And this one here is actually the 8GB RAM, 128GB internal storage version. Now, as far as the looks go of this phone, it's a very good looking phone, although it has certainly borrowed more than a few elements from other phones such as Oppo and the iPhone. Now, in the previous video, I just looked a little bit about the video shooting capabilities of this phone. But in this video, I'm gonna be looking more at the internal specs, its performance, particularly the performance regarding gaming. So I'm gonna test out a couple games and give you guys a feel of how it runs. Now, one of the first things I did when I got this phone was run it with the Antutu benchmark test. And I found out that it scored almost just shy of 180,000 on those tests. Um, 180,000, that's just a little bit less than the iPhone 7 Plus, but it's actually slightly more than the iPhone 7. Now, what gave it such great scores? Well, there's a few things that that was to do with. Firstly, as I said before, it's the eight gigabyte RAM version, which, as you probably know, is a lot of RAM for a smartphone. But the other feature which makes this phone so powerful is its processor. It has a Snapdragon 835 processor, which not many other phones can boast of having. As far as the GPU goes, it has an Adreno 540, and we're gonna see how that works with the two games I'm about to play. I'm also gonna check how the battery life holds up when playing these phones and how much of a drain it is to play it on full brightness. The first game I'm playing here is a MOBA called King of Glory, and it's basically a Chinese version of League of Legends for your mobile phone. In this 5 vs 5 battle I'm playing here, I found that it ran smoothly without having to reduce the graphic settings. Oh, nailed it. The only lag that came about was from when my internet connection was playing up. The OnePlus 5's battery has a 3300mAh capacity, and as far as the effect the gameplay had on it, well, after about 20 minutes of playing online with full brightness, the battery went from 80% to 74%. In other words, a 6% hit, which is really pretty good. And I'm dead. Now here, I'm playing the well-known World of Tanks, which actually I'm a total beginner at. Anyway, it was good fun, and just like with the previous game, I didn't notice any significant drops in the frame rate, as you would expect from a phone with the sort of specs I described. Not only that, but I found that the 5.5 inch optic AMOLED display made the games appear colorful with a good degree of sharpness. Oh, and another handy feature on this phone, especially for those who are really into online mobile gaming, is that you can set a do not disturb function for specific games and apps. And about the temperature, when I was running this phone on standby, the Antutu app showed the phone was at 32.1 Celsius. And then during the gameplay, this went up to 36.8 Celsius. So there you have it, a good phone with great performance. If you'd like to go ahead and buy the OnePlus 5 now, then head over to geekbarn.com and don't forget to subscribe.